is the Mediterranean diet? So the Mediterranean diet is a style of eating that's been practiced in the Mediterranean region for centuries, but new research just out continues to show the health benefits. So there was a study in the New England Journal of Medicine um, a couple of months ago that found people following a Mediterranean style of eating have significantly lower rates of heart disease and stroke. And then another study just came out last month showing the Mediterranean diet is linked to lower rates of dementia. So really, really wow. a healthy, style of eating for us. So what exactly makes the Mediterranean diet one of the healthiest and greenest in the world? Well, I feel like uh, the Mediterranean diet really it's uh, a uh, collection of uh, the, the foods that you can see in the Mediterranean area that are mostly based on uh, veggie and plant-based uh, ingredients. So uh, a wide variety of uh, fruit, vegetable, grains, which pasta is part of, legumes, and uh, extra virgin olive oil as a base. And what are some simple ways we can work this style of eating in our own daily meals? I think, well, pasta is one of the perfect ways. It's such a perfect partner for all of the foods that Lorenzo was just talking about. And he's actually chefing up today a gorgeous recipe that he's created um, just in time for Mediterranean Diet Month, which is this May. Oh, great. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this pasta recipe, which is really simple, easy to make. I'm using our um, spaghetti plus barilla. So basically, it's a multi-grain type of pasta made out of chickpeas, lentils, uh, uh, flax seeds, and uh, barley. So you have a higher amount of protein and uh, some omega-3 to it, too. So I'm going to start cooking this while I'm putting together my sauce. So by the time my spaghetti, 10 minutes, will be ready, my my sauce will be ready as well. So I had uh, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and onion going for a couple of minutes here. I had uh, kale, and I'm wilting the kale a little bit. Uh, and uh, at this point, uh, it's ready uh, for the, the sauce is ready for our beautiful fava beans. Have you ever tried fava beans? I have not. What do they taste like? Well, they are very mineral, so the fava beans uh, uh, have, uh, uh, allow you to use less salt and mm. also uh, have a really nice and green flavor to it. They're an excellent uh, uh, vegetable, one of my favorite, actually. Yeah, and they're loaded with, you know, like all beans, there's a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, a lot of nutrients like folic acid, which are really good, it's really good for your heart. So um, it's a wonderful way, I think, Pasta makes the perfect partner for these, these foods in a very convenient, easy way. I mean, as you can see, this is being really chefed up in no time. Yeah, absolutely. Now a little bit of sea salt. I like sea salt for better natural flavor. A little bit of black pepper. And uh, what I like to do, I add a little bit of a traditional uh, tomato sauce. And uh, what I like to do also is adding a little bit of the pasta cooking water to the sauce. This way I can drain my pasta a little bit under toss it in the sauce mm -hmm. for a minute or two and combine and marry the flavors together. So uh, with the, the starch that the pasta releases, you're going to have a, a creamier sauce without adding any extra fat. Yeah, it's a great strategy. And it smells amazing in here, by the way. If you guys could smell this, it's just it's stunning. And um, you know, Barilla, they actually just released a double pyramid showing just how the environmental piece works into the diet piece. So you can see there's the Mediterranean food pyramid showing that we want to base our diet in the types of foods Lorenzo and I are talking about and cooking up today. But also next to it, they used something called life cycle analysis, um, rigorous third party evidence showing that the foods which make up the base of the Mediterranean diet actually use fewer resources. So the plants in general tend to be a great way to eat while conserving uh, carbon footprint, using less land, requiring less water. Then when we have a diet very heavy in red meat, processed foods, refined foods, that all adds to the resource use. So I like to say the Mediterranean diet is really lean and green, good for you and good for the planet. Well, thank you for the wonderful tips and information. Where can we go for more information? Well, uh, we, uh, Kate and I developed a bunch of recipes, uh, and we're gonna, they're going to be posted on uh, uh, the barilla.com website. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with the recipes, you can get a bunch of information on the, the Mediterranean diet on the site. 
Wonderful. Well, thank you, Kate. Thank you, Lorenzo. I truly appreciate it. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank Ciao. you. Bye-bye.